54 at KLLL. All right, it's 834, <laughs> Jeff Kelly and Mudflap, and uh, we are joined now by uh, some very famous uh, young ladies from Lubbock. I'll if say you've been so. watching, if you've been watching America's Got Talent, you definitely have come to know Avery and the Calico Hearts. And you've probably seen them at the Cactus sometimes. You go to those shows too. But we want to say thank you for being here. First of all. How are y'all doing? Yeah, it's our pleasure. We're we're honored. You, you may be the most famous people we've ever had in here. You know that? <laughs> Certainly far more famous than us. That's right. Um, it's Avery, it's Brooklyn, it's Cassidy, and I want each one of you to say which one so we can keep you separate. Yeah, I want you to, yeah, just, just say your name off. and say hi or something. Okay, hi, I'm Brooklyn. <laughs> hi, I'm Avery. <laughs> hi, I'm Cassidy. <laughs> you forgot who you were there for a second. Yeah. All right, so how about, first of all, you just tell us, how did the three of you get together and start singing? I mean, you, you, you all seemed so wonderfully, and did, were you already friends, or how, how did the group get together? Well, when we were little, our parents heard us sing, and, we, and they signed us up for voice lessons, and we all just regularly we perform at the Cactus Theater, and one day, we thought it would just be a good thing to put a little group together, and... Our harmony sounded very good, so she decided to put us in a little group. Um, at first, we were in this group called the Itty Bitties, and now we have this group called Avery and the Calico Hearts. <laughs> All right. Okay. Avery, the other night when you guys performed, and uh, I don't know if it was Hollywood or Vegas, when Hallie Mandel said that you sounded like you were at 78 speed, did you even have any idea what that meant when he said that? I had no idea. I didn't but think so. when he said he meant it in a wonderful way, I was like, oh, okay. He did mean it in a wonderful <laughs> way, because you were terrific. But I was like, he's, they don't know. They, they don't know records. Hey, I was going to, when, when you're at the show, did, did you get to talk to the judges or anything? Did you get to meet Howie, or do you just come on the stage we, and then sing and go off the stage? We just come on stage, and we just get to talk to him on stage. And oh, really? We just, yeah, we just go off stage. Well, you don't meet yeah. him, like, before you go on there. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Go on stage, and. Do you get to talk? What's the guy that's backstage? The the other guy? Nick Is it Nick? Cannon. Yeah. Do you get to talk to him when yes. you're waiting? He's really nice. Really, really, really nice. Okay. Which one of you said? I know. I don't think it was Avery. One of you said you were scared of Pierce. Which one was it? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> How come you were scared of him? Does he seem mean? Well, I mean, I I watch a lot of their episodes, and so um. I I see what he does to everybody, and it's really scary. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty scary, but he's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's really fun to to see kids from Lubbock on on a big TV show like that. When y'all are there, I mean, you know, when you go out on that stage in front of all those people, are you sitting there thinking, "Wow, I'm on TV," or do you just go, "Yeah, we're just on stage. It's just like being at the Cactus." What are you thinking yeah, when you're out there? It's wow, like, we're on wow. TV. Yeah, it's like amazing to be on TV. That's yeah. pretty most, much the biggest thing that we've ever done. Before. Most people yeah. don't. Most kids don't usually get this opportunity. It's so just for us. It's like amazing getting to be on TV. It's yeah. really fun. Could you see anything? I mean, when you're on stage, you can you really see the audience or the lights? Does it uh, um, block you? Can you can see the audience in like a couple rows, and then the back, you it's kind of hard to see them. But it but it's a good thing. It's kind of more comfortable. Than <laughs> okay. Now I found out that Brooklyn and Cassidy are older than Avery. <laughs> So, explain this, one of you. How in the world did Avery get to name the group? Want to know? Hmm? 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 Um, well, we didn't really name it. Our director, Cammie, she kind of helped us. And so, mm -hmm. and Cammie, I mean, and she, Avery just had a really strong voice. So, and she so she. And so I'm very Cammie loud. Thought, <laughs> 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 very loud. Very <laughs> loud. So Cammie thought she would be good as the lead. We're okay uh, with it. All right, yeah. we're talking with Avery and the Calico Hearts this morning on KLLL. And uh, if you've been watching America's Got Talent, you know all about them. They are doing quite well on the show. And I guess here, you know, it's all live episodes now that are that are going to be coming up. And you guys are going to be on there here in the next few weeks. We know that. So, um, so you know, as you're getting ready for that, boy, do you all have to practice every single day? Or do you just kind of yes. hang out and chill like out? What do you do? Right now... With AGT, we practice every single day in for like two or perfect. three hours. Yeah, yeah it's like we usually practice once a week, but for mascot talent, we practice every, every day. day. Yeah. Do you ever get tired of it? Or are you just so excited no, about I'm the whole thing? I'm just so excited because so. uh, we practice it any time we get. Because, like I said, uh, that's the biggest thing that's ever happened to us, and so it's really fun. <laughs> I have to know <laughs> about your outfits because they've been adorable, and Avery, especially the high top, shiny <laughs> Converse's, whatever they were, tennis <laughs> shoes. Okay, how do you come up with your outfits? Um, well, our uh, can't 
uh, Marmee's teacher, Cammie, um, she goes out and picks them, and then she uh, lets us see them, and we're like, oh, my gosh. It's mostly sparkles because we like sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me a little girl who doesn't love sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> so do you all three vote? You have to be unanimous, or do you tell each other what you think of that? Have you ever said, ooh, that doesn't look good on you? No, 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 no we've never like said that. That'll come when you're teenagers. But we've changed, yeah. we've, changed, we've changed a couple of shirts and like switched around. Because yeah. Cammie, she's cute. like amazing yeah. at doing that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so when you are at the show, you know, there's some, there's some really uh, crazy, uh, crazy stuff on that show some of those people some of the things they do you know golly there's like that uh the you know swords yeah sword swallowers and guys doing stuff with fire and and that really scares me yeah, yeah. Do, you, do y'all get to see any of that when you're there or talk to any of those people or we get to talk to them and ask them like what their act is and sometimes we're like be careful <laughs> we've, we don't to get we've met a lot yeah. of really good friends like for instance anna anna graceman she's yeah. a really good friend of ours she's like our best friend at America's like when we're all when we're all together at AGT, we like to always hang out and stuff. Yeah. She's our, one of our good friends. Are you the youngest this year? I know there were some boys that were pretty young too. Yeah, yeah they were Shabazz the Shabazz boys. boys. They're yeah. really good friends too. Yeah, yeah they're tight. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. one oh. of them was five. Yeah. And oh. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was. Seven, six, and five. Yes. Wow. Oh, well, you're old women compared to that. <laughs> All grown up with nowhere to go but Hollywood. Woo-hoo! Hey, did y'all get a chance to see, in the, you know, in the auditions, they, they kept showing, there was like a couple of different acts that got up on stage, and they got so crazy, they fell off the front of the stage. Did yeah, you see those people? No. We were like, oh, my gosh, and she was like, people. <laughs> yeah, like when, they, <laughs> like when they auditioned, they, we auditioned in like different places. Like, I think some of those people, like, auditioned in like Minneapolis, but we auditioned in Houston. Well, you didn't fall off the stage, so yeah. did a good job. It, it was kind of funny. <laughs> we made sure we were behind the X. Yeah, yeah. That's, I bet that's, do they do they remind you that? Girls never remember, stay behind the X. Behind the stage. Yeah. Like, make sure and you stay behind the X. I'm like, okay. Well, y'all <laughs> fall, so we don't fall off the stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's good advice right there, isn't yeah. it? Nobody wants to fall off the stage. And there's light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, how could somebody actually fall off? Yeah, it, it's crazy that they have. So where did Hit It come from? Did you just come up with that? Is that every song? Hit It. Well, they oh, just well, told us cues that you Yeah, could they use, said just so. give us, like, a cue, and I just chose to do it. Yeah, well, you know what? That is the best cue that anybody has given because, you know, most of those people, I mean, they'll say, you know, like Pierce will say, you know, off you go, and they'll, like, look over to her or something, you know, they, they don't do anything. But, man, the, yeah, the way y'all, yeah. you y'all ready, y'all hit it! Boy, that's just, <laughs> man, that, you know when you hear that, you know it's showtime right there, well, you know? It, yeah. It does, and it's adorable the way you snap. I mean, I can't do it. I think I almost pulled my arm, but. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I'm all right. <laughs> I mean, I try, but I just don't quite have that movement you do. All right, well, it's Avery and the Calico Hearts, and uh, this has been really fun. We appreciate y'all taking some time to come by and visit us because I know you're very busy, but everybody listening to KLLL across all the South Plains this morning uh, is really excited about uh, what y'all are doing on America's Got Talent, mm-hmm. and I'm saying y'all are great ambassadors for, for Lubbock, and when people see you up there, I mean, you know, it's it, everybody's very proud, and we wish you the best, and I think y'all are going to gonna do really good on this show. So, Brooklyn, Cassidy, Avery, look me in the eye, make a promise, okay? Yeah. When you're having hit records and you're multimillionaires, you won't forget about little Jeff Kelly Mudflap right here in Lubbock, and you'll come see us every now and then, okay? You promise? Yes. All right. right. And and before you get out here, I promised them they could squeeze the rubber chicken because everybody that comes on our show has to squeeze the rubber chicken. Oh, they threw the rubber chicken. They threw it. Okay, squeeze the rubber chicken now. He has to. It's it's just (laughs) part of what we do. Yay. All nice. right, there you go. Let's hear it for Avery and the Calico Hearts. Be watching for them on America's Got Talent on NBC. <laughs> Be sure to <and> vote. <laughs>